You remember all those protests back in January, early February with these Enviro Antifa types? Well, now I talked about this in my video yesterday. We have this Trump indictment in Georgia. And on Monday, outside of the Fulton County Courthouse, now I'm sure you had some people there that were pro or anti-Trump, but the majority of protests happened in the morning with these same type of environmental wackos, these social justice warriors. And I'm surprised that the mainstream media hasn't really talked about this. This is an angle that nobody caught yesterday or on Monday. But I saw this clip from 11 Alive or Live 11. So I wanted to talk about this. Figured, well, let me look into this, see what's going on. And as it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, now on that same weekend that they had those protests in Atlanta in January or early February, they had protests up in Boston, Boston Commons. And one of the protesters was the, well, they referred to them as their daughter, but the son of this congresswoman from Boston. These people are on the march. Just to show you how they operate. By the way, I'm enjoying my cheaper than dirt family dollar coffee. I think I paid $6.95 for a two pound tub. Welcome back to the channel Culture Confederacy here Wednesday night. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Take a sip of my coffee. Better than Starbucks, dare I say. So this is a Reuters. Oh, this is so juicy. I love that word, juicy. In fact, I have an album in my CD collection. It's by Willie Bobo. It's called Juicy. Came out in the 60s. Well, there you go. That's how you spend your Wednesday night. Go to Family Dollar, get some cheap coffee, and listen to Willie Bobo's Juicy. My cultural plug for the night. Now, this article came out August 4th. Reuters says here, Atlanta sued over water pollution regarding Cop City construction. Now, they're being sued by the nonprofit South River Watershed Alliance. They're claiming this $90 million Atlanta Public Safety Center, or Cop City, is illegally polluting streams with sediment. So they're trying to have this lawsuit so they can stop for the development of this Cop Center. Pardon me, Cop City. It's Cop Center in Atlanta. Now, they're asking for the court to uh, block any further development, as I mentioned. And the mayor's office has come out and said that they are going to vigorously defend this in court. But there's also an article. Oh, it just gets better and better, folks. It just gets better and better. But there's an article at the AP. This is dated June 21st. And the Atlanta clerk who denied stopping this cop city petition, because that's why these protesters were at the Fulton County Courthouse. They were trying to protest uh, this cop city, wanted this referendum so the voters could decide. And I'm all for that. Let the voters decide on this cop city. But I think there's more to this. What do you think? Well, they've been twice denied before. And under pressure, because they were going to sue this clerk, she approved it. Now, so far, the referendum has 70,000 signatures. And there's an article also at The New Yorker. This is dated August 12th. It says here that the Atlanta Community Press Collective says that the project would actually cost the taxpayer $67 million. Originally, the city was saying it was only going to cost $30 million. Well, they went back and they looked at the figures. They said, no, 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 it's going to be about $67 million. And this police foundation was supposed to pick up the rest. So that is why these protesters were at the Fulton County Courthouse the other day. Just to show you how these people think, how they uh, work. But I'm sure the mainstream media, they're probably going to take this and say, these were all Trump supporters. They were protesting outside of the Fulton County Courthouse. Free Trump, these insurrectionists, just like January 6th. And speaking of that, I love how everybody's bringing up what happened with Hillary Clinton in 2016. What happened with Al Gore in 2000. Thought I'd throw that in there. So that is the latest on what's going on with these environmental wackos, these Antifa types. It's all connected somehow, folks. It's all connected. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. 
You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason. By the way, what's going on in Atlanta? At least the, uh, I think it's the Journal Constitution, whatever it is, they have like over 100 articles out there about it. But again, I'm surprised that the mainstream media is not really covering this. It is such a fascinating story. Looking into the psyche of these people. I mean, how uh, pathetic are you that you've got to go and terrorize two or three blocks of Atlanta, right? So if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can find me at the new X, formerly Twitter, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed one on X, formerly Twitter. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. I almost burped there. Whoops. Hey, it's a one-take video tonight. It is what it is. But you can find me at... As I said, Instagram, find me at Twitter, now known as X. But this is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. You know how we do it here? This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll see you next time, and you all have a great Wednesday.